familiar passage this morning. We're going into St. John, the 14th chapter. And I'm going to give him the text to also. Thank the Lord. The 14th chapter in the 27th verse. St. John 14 chapter in the 27th verse. Peace I leave with you. Peace, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world give, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. Thank you, Lord. This morning, I want to take for a text or thought this morning. Don't let the devil steal your peace. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Don't let the devil steal your peace. Look at him one more time and say, neighbor. Don't let the devil steal your peace. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost, this morning. Let us bow our head. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you today for this word. Father, I ask you to breathe on this word. Lord, I ask you to saturate me, Lord, with your anointed for this set time. Lord, bless the hearers and the doers of your said word. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. St. John reads, and I just want to read it one more time and I'm going to go in. Amen. St. John 14 and 27 say, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be, let not peace I give unto you, not as the world give, give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is Jesus talking. God said, I give you peace. My peace I leave with you. My peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. You want to know where his peace coming from? It's coming from God. Amen? The text is, don't let the devil steal your peace. Thank the Lord. He said, the world didn't give this peace to you. He said, I give it to you. The devil, the devil is, the, is the author. He's a, he, he is working in confusion. He's the author of confusion. God said, I didn't give you confusion, confused man. But I gave you peace. Amen. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Don't be troubled with the cares of this world. Jesus is here, is, is in the text, is encouraging us to don't let the devil get you into worry. He said, let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. He said, my peace I give. Thank you, Lord. He said, I leave my peace with you. My peace I give to you. He said, peace I'm giving it to you. Amen. He went on to say, I'm the author of peace. He said, I give it unto you. It's coming to me. It's coming to you by way of Jesus. He said, the world don't give you peace. He said, I give you the peace. Matter of fact, he said, the world system wants you to be worried. He want, it wants you to, to always be uh, uh, confused and and, and and not knowing what is going on and something strange. And, and, in other words, the world wants you to be so wrapped up in situation. And sometimes we get so wrapped up in situation and circumstances and everything going uh, 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 topsy turvy is a word, uh, a better word I can use it, going up and down like a seesaw. You really don't know what's going on. He said, now look, don't let the devil steal your peace. You got joy. The Bible said we've been made to do it for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Don't let the devil steal your happiness. Oh, help me hold the spirit. You see, that happiness that you have, I'm giving you happiness. But someone don't want to see you happy. Your adversary. For the Bible lets us know 
The devil is like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. Matter of fact, he's after your peace. He want to steal that peace. That peace of mind that, that holds fast to God's word. <coughs> that peace that keeps you strong. Thank you, Lord. It's something about the peace that God gives you. It surpasses all understanding. In other words, why has he got so much peace? Why is it that he got so much joy? And, and it's about all the stuff that you're going through. It's God empowering you with peace, even though with the natural man looks at just to look at the, the, the outward. God looking at the heart and, and how you handle the situation. See, peace goes above everything else. It stands out with your character, the hidden part of the man that can't be seen on the outside. When you got peace, you got joy. Oh, help me, Lord. It's something about it when God said, peace, I leave with you. Help me, Lord. I'm giving it to you as a father or mother would give you the best. I don't, I don't want you to be confused uh, who giving you the peace. Sometimes when people tell you, and, and I think one of the one of the parts of the, the lesson, and they said uh, dealing with uh, the secret of of, of, of a, having a long life is not worry. Basically saying that don't get bogged down with the cares of this life. And I, I, as an indication of that lesson was so powerful that they said to live alone, the secret to living a long life. And then one of them said you can't get into a life circumstances. You can't carry the load in worration of being depressed. See, depressed people, they don't live out their years. And I used to wonder, you know, certain the age people will get to 90 something and, and I said, didn't let stress, they didn't let the cares of this life bog them down and they learned to just cast it off. Cast all your cares on who? Jesus, for he cared for you. It's the worst feeling in the world to feel like nobody don't care. But we got the assurance today that Jesus cared. He said, you can cast all your cares. First Peter 5 and 7 said, cast all your cares on Him. Talking about Jesus, for He cared for you. I, I go to God because I know that He cares. In other words, the Bible said, He can be touched by the feeling of our infirmity. He catches in a like a little vial, a teardrop. And he can be touched for what we're going through in life. That's why he said, the peace I leave with you. God is a God of compassion. When everybody around you sees to, to be a want to be around you and don't even care about you, don't have the concern about you, God said, I, I, I'm concerned. He said, he said, I help you. I carry you. When you get to a point in your life that you feel like you're carrying a load, and ain't nobody around to help you carry it. You can carry it to Jesus. He said, I will help you carry the load. It's never too heavy or never too big for God. He said, I'm there to help you. I'm there to help you bring it to me. This is the reason why he said, cast your load on me. In other words, he said, cast your cares on me. Your load, your burden, your cares of this life. Bring it to God. Why? It's something about when Jesus is there to help you carry. And I found now you can carry a big load when you got another hand. Amen. Something about when you got Jesus, you got the main one. See, because he's there to help you in your hours of temptation. When the peace of God is just something about when he gives it to you, it makes you feel like you can do anything. When God's power overwhelms you and, he, and he, he talks to you, He ministers to you, you feel like, man, I'm a wreck of the new business. You cannot even defeat Him when God put the peace in you. The joy of the Lord is our what? Strength. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. With being happy, that's your strength. Being bogged down in worry, it drains you down. It puts 